So start off the bat, I think if you've done any research at all, you know that Anubias are very, very easy. So I'm going to put them at the number five spot. There's a lot of varieties. We've got Congensis, Bargari, Cophifolia, Anubias Nana Petite, all of those. Very, very easy. Wide variety of parameters. They get attached to wood or rock. You don't have to have substrate. That's a great one, right? So easy peasy. Number four, Java ferns. And here we've got two varieties. We've got the normal variety, which is kind of taller. And then we've got Windelov, which has got all these frilly leaves, like a little lace leaf around. Number four, works the same as Anubius in the fact that uh, you just attach to wood or rock. Pretty simple, right? Um, so those ones are pretty common. Everyone knows about those. But let's go into number three, which I don't think everyone knows about. And that's going to be Cryptocorn species. Now we've got Cryptolutea right here, we've got Red Wendetta here, we've got Parva and Lucin. So there's a big variety as you can see. They're all pretty easy. Usually what happens is you buy them, they're going to melt a little bit and then come back. And that's what's happening with this plant right here. So this is a Cryptolutea. And you can see these leaves are melting back because they were growing out of water. And what comes out of this in the center of the plant you can see there's new growth. All this new growth is how it's going to look underwater. So even though you're going, well, this plant looks like it's six inches tall in your aquarium, it'll be much smaller. And that's what's happened to all these crypts. We've already melted them back so that they're all nice. Well, like this leaf's going to come off, but most of the new leaves are already in it and good to go. Uh, same with Crypt Parva here. This one's got a lot of immersed growing leaves. It'll shrink back, but that's a really easy one. Root feeder, expect them to melt a little bit, but man, low light, easy peasy. Can't love them more. I use them in all my aquascapes. Number two, number two, for my uh, you know my most favorite plant or easy plant, if you will, is a Pontigetan crispus or a Pontigetans in general. This is a bulb plant that even if you have a, like a beta tank with like no light on it, it's gonna grow and it'll get big and spindly and it grows fast and it doesn't even have to have fertilizer really. It likes it, but it doesn't have to have it. And uh, all you gotta do, kind of throw it in water, it will grow. Don't plant it, just set it on top of the gravel. It'll grow roots down, throw leaves up. Big, gorgeous plant, wrinkly leaves. And then you can see some of the other Pontigetans we have, they're just as easy. We've got the Madagascar lace plant and you can see why it gets its name. It has, it's a lace leaf pattern. You can go over here, and we've got a Pontigetan bovinianus, and it's got another cool big leaf pattern to it. And then over here, we've got Ovastius, where it's kind of got a corkscrew leaf to it. All of them very, 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 very easy uh, and super cool. And then my number one, the number one easiest plant, in my opinion, for anyone, no matter what tank you have, whether it's a light or not, is the Dwarf Aquarium Lily. So not only is it a cool color, it makes uh, leaves down low, and eventually it'll send leaves all the way up to the top and have lily pads. Now this isn't a dwarf aquarium lily, this is a tiger lotus over here, but the lily pads will look like this except red. And so they'll float on top there, which is great. And uh, super duper duper easy, and you can see there it's making new leaves in the back. So these are really, really easy. I recommend them to everyone. And those are the five easiest plants. They're all low light. Anyone can be successful with them. If with even a little bit of work and trying, 